lovely few weeks actually. I haven't filmed one of these for quite a while. I'm sorry. I feel like I start every one of these videos by saying sorry, but I am. Um, it's been really busy. We've had loads of exciting things going on. Um, but believe it or not, I have actually got a few makes to show you. Um, I think I've got four or five. Um, but I'm filming in the shop, so if you can hear other noises and things, don't worry. Um, and I tried to find where I can stand back and show you what I am wearing properly, but you might not be able to see my feet, but no one really minds about that, do they? Anyway, I hope you're really good. One thing before I start, I just wondered if I can ask you a favour. We have been nominated in the British Sewing Awards. Um, which is really, really exciting. There's only a few weeks before they close and I would be really, really grateful if you could take two minutes just to go and vote for us. Um, I'll pop the link down below. You can win prizes if you um, do vote. You can vote in one or as many categories as you like. We have been nominated for best independent shop in the south of England. And <laughs> actually, this was not on purpose, but I am stood next to last year <laughs> where we were highly commended um, and it would really really mean so much to me if this year we could win. Um, yeah, I would love that. Um, if you have two minutes I'd be really grateful so I'll pop that down below. Right so yeah I think I've got four or five things to show you so I'm going to go through relatively quickly um, and I do really love everything that I'm going to show you this time which is brilliant. So the first one I'm going to start with is what I'm wearing. Um, I'll stand back a bit more in a minute so you can see but this is the Nina Lee, sorry I've got a creaky floorboard, this is the Nina Lee Mayfair dress. So um, this is the first time I've ever um, worn one of these. I have to say I didn't actually make it myself. I hope you'll forgive me but um, Things have been so hectic the last couple of months. I have had a little bit of help with some of the shop samples. Um, so lovely Lisa has made a few of the shop samples for me just so that we can get them up and ready while we've actually still got the fabric in stock. Um, my making speed is a lot slower than hers. So this is one of those. Um, it's made from our Ladies of the Peony viscose jersey and I don't know if you can see, there's this really vivid blue with like orange and pink accents. It's really lovely. But it's actually got little secret hidden faces. There you go, if you see, the little spots are actually faces. And then the flowers are sort of like the vintage hairstyles, vintage wigs. I didn't even notice it, um, someone else pointed it out to me, so it's really subtle, but really interesting. I love the gathers on the shoulders, and I love, it's sort of like a faux wrap, so it's got ties, you just do that, so it's got ties here, and then it's got this little placket at the front of the waist, and actually normally this is in one piece, but um, I didn't quite send Lisa enough fabric, so she had to piece this together, so there's a little join there, it wouldn't normally be there if you use the correct amount of fabric and don't try and scrimp. So let me just do this up and then I'll show you the rest. It's really comfy, it's total secret pyjamas. So if I just lower the camera. So if I stand back you can see this is just above the knee, it's got little light gathers in it at the waist. Under the back with that tie. Gone for the three quarter length sleeves because I always roll my sleeves up. And yeah, I think it's a really nice shape. I really like it. Um, at least it's actually a really speedy one to make. So <laughs> I might try it myself next time. Oh, pop this back up. So that's make number one. I will get changed quickly and show you make number two. So I've just changed the camera angle slightly. I'm hoping you can see that a bit better. It's really sunny. It hasn't been sunny all week. And then typically when I get time to film this, the sun is streaming through. Anyway, this is make number two. I did make this. <laughs> this is the new Tilly and the Buttons Agnes dress. So you can see it is, let me just uh, move this down. It is a really loose fitting smock dress. It just 
goes over your head. No fastenings, no ties, no nothing. Oh, let me lift this up. This is made from our Emerald Bloom Viscose Twill. Um, some of you might remember we had it in, flew out really quickly. I got some more in, that flew out really quickly. But we do have a few good size bolt ends. I think we've got a couple of like two, two and a half meter pieces of this that are on the website. As always, I'll link all the fabrics down below. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I didn't think I was going to at all, I'll be honest. When I saw the pattern, I thought, lovely pattern, it'll be really popular because it's really simple, but I don't think it is really for me. Then I made it because I wanted to make a sample up. And I really love it, it's so easy to wear. Now, I'm not gonna go into loads of detail on this because I've actually made another one of these and I want to do a more detailed pattern review. But what I will say is I lengthen the waist down on this by about an inch. And actually, I don't think I needed to. I've made quite a few, or I made a couple of alterations on my next one. So this one does have a slightly lower neck as well. I did lower the neck just ever so slightly. I always do that on high neck patterns. But yeah, I really love it. You just throw it on. I've been wearing it with um, like a crop denim jacket. So it brings in at the waist and jean, uh, sorry, tights and boots. If I lower it so you can actually sort of see the length. I've done it just to my knee. So yeah, I mean, it's not, it's a really simple, quick pattern and it's not, you know, super fitted or anything, but I really like it. I think it's really wearable um, and it's actually been really popular. So yeah, but I'm gonna do another pattern review, as I say, in more detail. I'll we'll just do a quick twirl at the back, like I say, no fastenings. Um, I'll save it for the next video, but I'll get changed into make number three. So, make number three. This is one of my absolute favourites. Um, I didn't make this one either. This is the second one that Lisa made for me. Um, I love it. I really love it. But as you might be able to tell, it doesn't quite fit on the bust. It is the sew over at Eve dress. So, it is a full wrap. Da, da, da. Oh, walk into the bin really really love the shape this fabric is absolutely beautiful it is so soft and so lovely to wear Ooh. yeah so soft and so lovely to wear i love the color but i have been wearing it with a pin in the bust um and i think i kind of need to to preserve my modesty or i can wear a little camisole or something underneath two reasons why it doesn't fit so one probably should have done a full bust adjustment on it because so over patterns are drafted for a b cup and i'm definitely not a b cup and then secondly because it's a wrap and i do always have this problem with the, with wrap dresses it's not um just this pattern because i'm like two sizes smaller at my waist than i am at my hips and my bust um really there's a lot more room here so this is too baggy at the waist so if you see if I pull this over um, and keep it tight where it should be at the waist that sits a lot better um, and then I can pull that one round but because it's two sizes bigger I just can't get it tight enough without pulling the whole bit through so yeah I need to do a bit of a combination on my next one full bust adjustment and a um, yeah, take it in size or so at the waist. The other thing that we did on these is, we did on this is a, that's the royal we, a um, full bicep adjustment. So on the last one of these I made, which I made in a cotton lawn, I noticed that I had a very, very narrow seam allowance, about half a centimetre, which in a viscose was going to be too little and I was worried it would fray. So Lisa did a, I think a one inch um, full bicep adjustment for me, and then also still did a smaller seam allowance. Now what that's meant <laughs> is that because we kind of doubled up, the sleeves are a bit bigger than I would normally make. So I'm just gonna run those down and make it a little bit more fitted, um, because I think this style of pattern does need to be a bit more fitted in the sleeves and they're just a tad long for me as well. So I always have my sleeves to come like just above or just on my elbow. 
because um, when they're just underneath I'm always rolling them up. But yeah, I wore this a couple of weeks ago for So Saturday with a pin in and um, absolutely loved it. Wore it all day, um, really, really beautiful. Let me just move this around. Da, da, da. Just give you a tour of the whole shop today, guys. So, there you are, you can see it a bit better. It's got that really nice skirt with a bit of adjustment. I think it will be one of my absolute favourites. It's just so pretty. And like I say, this fabric is just so soft and so lovely. And I really love all the colours in it. So yeah, a couple of adjustments and it'll be perfect. I'll go and get changed into my fourth and final make. So, final one. Um, this is really simple. This is a Tilly of the Buttons Joni dress. Stand back. It is, you see, it's got the twist at the bust. You know how much I love the Joni dress. I've actually done a tutorial so long on here about how I get the twist to finish nicely. Um, I'll link it up here. But yeah, I made this, this, I actually made this for my granddad's funeral because I wanted to make something. And I wanted, I wanted it to be black, but I wanted it to be really, wearable so that I could mix it up and wear it afterwards. So like today I've got it with the red belt but I've also worn it and paired it with burgundy tights which looks really nice. You can't really go wrong with a black dress. Chuck on a coloured cardigan and stuff so I can wear it for sort of formal occasions but also um, yeah dress it down with boots and a chunky cardigan. But you know how much I love the Joni dress. I didn't make any changes other than the ones I always make and I've always talked about, so I've added an inch at the waist. And I think that's it, just an inch um, to bring it down to my natural waist. Um, and then I always bring the shoulders in a little bit. But as I say, I do change the construction method ever so slightly and I've done the tutorial on that. So yeah, really comfy. It's like a medium weight viscose jersey that we had in. We had it in quite a few colors, um, but I think they're, pretty much out of stock now. I think we've got like some purples and burgundies and stuff, but we don't have the black. I'm really conscious that the light is going, guys. So I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope that you enjoyed those makes. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been on here to show you them for a while, but I have, um, or I'm just about to film my plans for this month. So I will do those and then I'll be back to show you my next lot as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I'd love to hear if you've got any comments or anything, pop them in the box down below. If you do get two seconds and you can vote for us in the British Sewing Awards, I will be forever grateful. Um, oh, and I totally forgot to say, we hit 10,000 subscribers on here a couple of weeks ago, which is amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I'm going to try and think of a giveaway that we can do um, or something that we can do um, that we can do internationally because I know a lot of you follow from all over the world. So I'm going to ponder that and in a couple of weeks I will put something up. But yeah. Thank you very much. If you've liked it and you're not already subscribed, then please do. Um, and if you are and you did enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. Hope you have a really good week and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.